third time is the charm. Hello everybody, it's me Maru here, Joe, saying welcome back to this episode of the Black 2 Nuzlocke, and it's probably episode block 34, 35, something along the lines of that. We're getting towards the end of the Black 2 Nuzlocke, and for that reason I wanted to just kind of do this quick preface. Uh, I say quick, it's going to take two minutes to do, just because of the length of the video I've got a preface in. Anywho, so you may have noticed looking at the screen while I'm talking and rambling and talking and rambling that it's all black and white and all sped up and all kind of like all my Benny Hill show episodes and that is because I was determined, absolutely determined, I think I mentioned it in the last episode, to get all the team plasma stuff done in um, this episode and it was a big mistake, big mistake because a usual episode as I think I mentioned a hell of a lot is between 15 and 21 minutes roughly, kind of that sort of length. This episode's going to be a bit longer, it's going to be about 29 minutes, but the thing is, it was a lot longer than that. It was 46 minutes long. Let me give you a second to take that in. 46 minutes long. A Black 2 episode being 46 minutes long is ridiculous. The last one was 19 or something like that, and this is uh, 10 minutes more than that. So I thought that I needed to speed it up, and I've, I've kept in all the essential battles and anything really important story-wise. So what you're seeing on the screen is essentially I was told that I needed a code to get through to the back of the ship and help free Kurem, but I didn't have the code, so I had to go and talk to all these people and battle them and find out what the code was with some sevens and some zeros and that stuff. So, yeah. Uh, what else? I needed that key there. That was just on the screen. I needed the little key and it's pretty it was a pretty cool challenge actually with all the pipes and stuff but I just wanted to speed this up this bit alone was 17 minutes so and I've sped it up to 2 minutes 13 seconds that's ridiculous is it not is it not that could have been an episode in itself but as I said I wanted to get all the plasma stuff done this episode whether I managed to or not that remains to be seen you're gonna have to watch yourself anyway the real question is now do I feel like I have everything hmm I feel like I have everything but I'm really not sure Let's go to QRM. Let's let's try and ah oh, maybe it's can't leave. Well, how do I turn? Ah, oh, here ah okay. There's like a little computer. It seems to be a device. It's waiting for a password. Yes, I will. I reckon it is seven 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 zero. No. Okay, so we know the first number is seven. We know the second number is seven. So it must be seven seven zero seven. Hey. One, two, three, four. All the barriers were deactivated. Right, all my Pokemon are also healed up. Uh, I'm going to take the... Take the lucky egg of Niall and give it to Hubert. And put Hubert in first. So here we go, guys. We're about to face Getis and Curium. Zinzelin! The device is indestructible! You will never be able to release Curium. You don't have the sense to know when to quit, it seems. It's an act of mercy on my part to bring this to an end now. That was my really cool evil laugh. Okay, here we go, Zinzanin. We've got Cryogonal. He's got a Cryogonal. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a good or a bad thing that I switched into uh, into Hubert. Probably a bad thing. But who cares that she's rocked him? Rock Team is going to take him down. Down, 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 down. Who can I teach? I think I can teach Yvonne Ice Beam. And I might teach her that instead of Energy Ball because that will be more useful. Uh, it's got a Cryogonal again. I'm going to use another Rock Tomb now. Down, down. Even if the skies are falling down. Down. What time is it? What time is it? Let me check my phone. It's 5.30. I'm on my way home in a minute. I'm trying to get everything recorded before that happens. This is dark and ice type. We've got pressure as well. Just going to use Rock Tomb again. Why not? Uh, Ice Shard may do a fair amount. Ice Shard may do a fair amount because Hubert has got awful defences. Did <laughs> alright, I guess. It's alright. Did alright, did alright, did alright. Use Moxie, yeah. And Moxie boosted our attack power, and I'm now level 56. I don't care, I'm keeping Hubert in first. I probably should heal up a bit, but I will keep Hubert in first for now. Zinzadin. Beaten again? No matter. Team Blasmo will get the last laugh. 
<laughs> okay, there is a dude off to the left there. I see him. Um, before anybody goes, oh, there's a dude off to the left. I did see him before we started battling. So if he attacks me now, I'm going to be really annoyed. Because I don't feel he should. What do you want? <laughs> if you intend to continue, step on the other warp panel. Keep in mind that you're going to get beaten up if you do. I do intend to continue. This is why in control of the ship's hurrah. Here we go. Right, I reckon this is where Gettis comes into play. Does he? <gasps> Colrus! What? Welcome. I was asked by an acquaintance to help with his research. What is ours to bring out the entirety of Pokemon potential? If I can accomplish that, I don't care what it takes. It means that the strength must be brought into the interactions between Pokemon and trainers, then so be it. Uh, if it means you have to use immersionless approach like Team Plasmas and force out all the Pokemon's power, then so be it. And yes, if the entire world is destroyed as a result, then so be it. That aside, the reason I have been travelling all over you and over and battling many Pokemon trainers is because I was testing the viability of this approach to bring out the full strength of the Pokemon. In that respect, you've done an amazing job. Well now, tell me if you, you have the answer. Are you ready? Come at me. I will come at him, but I'm going to switch, because I know he, ha he he has a thing for steel types. I'm going to switch Quentin into first. I'm also going to give Quentin the uh, amulet coin. Uh, that was the wrong part of the bag. Uh, because if I give him the amulet coin, I can get lots and lots of money from this. Lots of the money is... I'll leave Hubert with the lucky egg. Right, let's come at him. Come at me, bro. It looks like you're ready then. Okay, let us begin. This is going to be long. It's going to be like half an hour. Oh, that Team Plasma stuff. Oh, hang on, that was deliberately on the right. Okay, Colress. Here we go. Now my screen is kind of... Yeah, there we go, that's better. Five Pokemon, probably all steel. He's got a Magneton. He's leading off with a Magneton. What's he doing with the Magnet off? <laughs> anyway, so let us flamethrower this Magneton. That should probably take it out, to be honest. And uh, that did diddle didn't diddle didn't 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 it's got sturdy. I used Thunder Wave. Of course it used Thunder Wave. And, uh, yeah. There's only so much entertainment you can get from just commenting. Come on, bring on more power. I will bring on the more power. I'm going to use Faint Attack because it won't miss. And he used a full Right? Great. At least my Faint Attack will break the sturdy. Um, and then I should... I should flame throw this turn. But I'm not going to. I'm going to full. I'm oh, oh, not full start. I'm going to um, full heal. I now have four max revive. That's quite a lot. Seeing there's only about ten in the entire game, that is a lot of max revive. Um, and so he used some sort of and oh, Magnazone now. So Magnazone's probably got sturdy as well, which will just be really very annoying if that's true. Issues flamethrower. See, I would use fire blast on these, but. They're going to survive from a sturdy, regardless. Do not use Thunder Wave. Ah! That's annoying. That's annoying. And he's going to use a full restore. I can tell already. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Not Quentin. Not Quentin. Not Quentin. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh! Right, okay. He's got Matang next. <laughs> right, Matang is Psychic and Steel type. So I'm going to switch in. Oh! You, I cannot I cannot tell you how glad I am that Quentin did not die at this stage in the game. Because I don't really want to have to train somebody else up for the Elite Four. That would be really annoying. Uh, I'm going to use a Max Potion on Quentin. Six HP. That is beast in it. He's using agility, meanwhile. Okay. So you may have wondered why I switched to Navon off the Yukon. Because I'm going to use Surf. That should not do too much because I'm a ghost type, hopefully. That did about a third, maybe a quarter, a third, something like that. Uh, and that should do about half. I was about to say about half. And he's going to use another one, and I'm going to use another one, and we're going to we're going to have a lovely. Surfing Zen headbutt in time. Um, cool. Anyway, boop 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 boop. It's got a cling clang. Who should? What should I do? I will. You know what? I might as well just keep battling. I don't think. Oh, hang on, cling clang. It might have thunderbolt. 
to anything. This music's really cool. I quite like it. Can you hear it? It's very tech, te like techno. It's like. So I've just had a thought. 25 minutes in. What if I speed up all the Cody stuff? Because um, because that was a rather long section. It was longer than I thought it was going to be. And if I sped it up. By now, you'll probably know. Uh oh, Thunderbolt, which is what it. Oh, God, yeah. Jettison is like a beast Pokemon. In which case, if I do that, then this episode won't be half an hour, half an hour long. It will be uh, about 21 minutes, which is a good amount of time for an episode 2B, which is good, 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 good. So I'm probably going to do that. I'm going to speed up the episode. I'm going to make Betty Hill Edition, like, part something. I don't know what it would be, part. But I probably won't call it Benny Hill Edition. I will probably call it um, Team Plasma, the front, the face off, or something like that. Something along the lines of Team Plasma Final Battle stuff. Ugh. There we go. Right, so Clean Clang is now. Good, 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 good. And he's got a Behemoth. Uh, that's Psychic type, so I'll use Shadow Ball. Uh, I'm going to use another Moomin Melt. Sorry, I just want to be safe. In a Nuzlocke, you've always got to be really safe. you got to play it safe, otherwise. You can end up dying very easily. And you use Calm Mind. That is not a good thing. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm tired. Oh, my God. So somehow, I don't think I'm going to get another episode recorded now. Because, uh... Because I think I'm going to have to be very quiet very soon. Calm Mind. Keep Calm Mind in there. Go on. Go on. Be a wimp. And now we're going to use a Shadow Ball, and I think all he's got left is that Magneton, which he, which he switched out at the beginning of the episode. Oh no! Oh no! He has Recover. Oh god. Um, let's use another Shadow Ball. There's got to be some way of doing this. Some easy way of doing this. Psychic type, what are they weak to? Uh, they're weak to fighting. Not fighting, dark, sorry. Uh, let's try another Shadow Ball, try for critical hit, and then if that doesn't work, then I have a plan B, which I just thought. They're weak to dark, and they're weak to Borg type. They're weak to Borg type, so here's my plan B. While he recovers up to full, I will switch in uh, Niall. Niall! And I'm going to use the Sword Stance, and then I'm going to use... Um, X scissor and see how much that does. Here we go, sword stance. So now Niall has kind of got very good attack. He's going to use psychic, that will do. Well, apparently that will kill a Pokemon. God damn it! So Niall's dead. Niall is dead at this stage of the game, which is not good. I'm not the biggest fan of that. Oh look, now I get a crit. Great. Just what I needed at this stage. Oh, he's got a mountain. Oh. So at least because it's got sturdy, it doesn't have levitate. So I can use earthquake. Oh, so who am I going to train? Cofagrigus, I guess, is the only other Pokemon I've got left, which is round about similar levels. I think he's level 53 at the moment. But what I could do is I could wait and see what I find in Victory Road. Because if I find something like a Dino in Victory Road or a Durant or something, something weird, then I might use that. So strong. Too strong. Too strong. You're a very strong trainer indeed. So let me ask you this. Are you thinking of reaching ever higher heights by understanding each Pokemon trainer? Yes, I am. I see. To me, that is an ideal answer. To think that's what you actually believe. You bring up the power of Pokemon respect and love. As soon as you root myself, but if it will make Pokemon stronger, I don't care what it takes. If interacting with Pokemon can increase the powers into a certain point, then their full strength must be brought out with a scientific approach, even with their conscience. And um, but you've shown your potential of your approach. To me, whether Team Plasma wins or you will win, decide on the relationship between Pokemon and people. So where will this be settled? Step on the warp panel on the other side of the room where Curium is being held. Good luck on your battle. <laughs> I think this is the big battle. I think this is the battle with Gettys everybody's been waiting for.
that blast and call rests. The fool is far too committed to pure science. This is how he repays me for making him the boss of Team Plasma? How dare he put personal intellectual curiosity before our ultimate vision of conquering Unova? How fortunate for you. Few get to be the sole audience member of one of my speeches. Team Plasma will use its knowledge and technology to take Curium's true power to its absolute limit and freeze the Unova region. The terrified people and Pokemon will bow at Team Plasma's... No, at my feet! <sighs> Curium is an empty being. The remnants of a certain Pokemon when it's split into Reshiram and Zekrom. My desire is absolute rule of Unova! That's right. Curium will be the vessel into which my desires will be poured! To the truck. Lord Gettys, Curium has been transferred. It's finally here! The wonderful era in which I'm the absolute ruler of Unova has finally arrived. I'll let you take care of it. Ah! Oh. But I wanted to face Gettys. I need to get this all done in one episode. Wait, you're one in the shadows here, right? Tell me about the Pearl that was stolen in the Spurs here. Very well, that might, this might be it. Growl! I saw this Pokemon five years ago in the Spurs here. So it's like, this is the Pokemon you're talking about. But now, only listen to my command. Such is the fate of Pokemon that trapped in Pokeballs. What? What? Don't mess with me, but that's someone else's Pokemon. Ah, for sorry, Pokemon. They're ruled by Pokeballs in the winds of the trainers. Oh, Gettys Pokemon, two years ago, 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 I'm going to let you go interview with Lord Gettys' plans. Oh, I wanted to face Gettys! I wanted to get the episode done! <laughs> How am I going to get this all into one episode? Oh, oh Short of like speeding everything up, that isn't a major battle. What am I going to do? What am I going to do, guys? Um, I guess I could split it up. Into like two episodes, maybe, but I've effectively done two episodes worth of stuff in one episode, which is just. It's ridiculous. Oh, I'm so dark type. What beats dark type? Um, I really don't have anything to be dark type anymore. Ever since Niall died. Boone, No Shrink, Hubert, Yvonne. I'll just send in Hubert an earthquake. I like that. Uh, so, effectively, each of my episodes lasts between, ideally, 15 and about 21 minutes. This episode is going to be at least... It's got to be half an hour. Because by the time I face get this, it's going to be half an hour. My, I don't know how my iPod is going to handle all this info. I don't know how my computer is going to handle all this info. Now, providing doesn't switch into anything which is strong against Hubert, I'm now just going to leave Hubert in, because Moxie will do, do its job. Uh, let's leave him in, and just use Earthquake and Earthquake and Earthquake, and then hope somebody heals us up before we go and face Gettys. Because I'm keeping this all in one episode, I have to get it done, I have to get it done. And if I don't, then I'm going to be doomed for all, for all eternity and whatever and stuff. Um, okay, there we go, we beat the Shadow Triads. Well, that was only one of them, though. So, do we have to face the other two? I really hope not. Oh, no, you're not done yet. No. You're joking. Ah! Uh, if you want to go anywhere, you have to get past us. Uh, right. Okay. Here's the solution. We're switching Hubert into first. We are just going to... I swear to be loyal to Lord Gettys. I'm just going to put them in front. Oh, I have to keep moving the screen because I keep... You know what? I'm so angry with this episode and how long it's taken that I'm now just resorting to going blur. Um, so, I've got another Pawniard, which is what I figured might happen. So I decided to switch in Hubert and use an Earthquake. And, you know, I hope I've got some Ethers or Ethers or however you want to pronounce it so I can heal up all these Earthquakes because they're just going to get wasted. Hubert's my man, my main man. Now I've got a Pawniard. Another one. I'm on! When I faced that first Shadow Trio member, did he use a Light Pod? I don't think he did. Honestly, can't remember because my head hurts. I've got a headache now. I've played too much. I've played too much of the game for today. And a Banet. Banet is a ghost type. So I'm going to use Crunch this time. Crunch, crunch, crunch! Yum, 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 yum. Crunch it up. 
Captain Crunch, and uh, and, and there it goes. Down it goes. And again, I don't think that's in the middle. I think that is the middle now. That looks like the middle to me. Team Plasma. There we go. Right. Listen well, the only thing we want is the World Lord Gettys requires. Okay, if you want to go any further, you have to get past us. Okay. I have no problem with it. This is for Lord Gettys. Okay! Ah, stop talking and let me finish this bloody game. I've got two days. Two days! So at this point, this episode is now eclipsed in real time, because I've sped up some bits. Um, has now eclipsed. 37 minutes. 37 minutes. I can't believe that. Each episode is supposed to, I think I started saying this. Each episode is supposed to be between 15 and 21 minutes length. This is now a 20 minute episode and a 17 minute episode. So I hope you guys count yourself lucky that this is what I do for you. This is what I do in order to make sure that all, all this Team Plasma stuff keeps in one place. I hope you love me after this. I hope you, I hope you like, fav like, favourite, subscribe, please. Um, I, I don't think I've ever been like that. I think I may have said on one or two episodes, like, what did he just use? I don't know. I think I may have said on one or two episodes, you know, if you, if you did like an episode, you know, like it. Because it really does help. It really helps knowing that there are people out there who want to watch what I'm doing. And uh, it's fun when that happens. Cubic Root level 30, 58. Got another Pawniard. Let's use Earthquake. And then I need, to, I need to make sure I heal up all of Hubert's moves because I've now used quite a lot of stuff in an attempt to beat everything. So, and Niall is just sitting dead at the back of my group still. There we go. Beat Team Plasma, Shadow Triad. Right, can I go and face Gettys now? Even though I lose, Lord Gettys has to win. No matter, the only thing you can do is watch Lord Gettys use Curium to freeze you know the solid. That's all I'll return. Gettys, something, something do. Glenn. Hey Joe, what if Team Plasma? There'll be sad Pokemon like Polon and Curio. So that Polon actually stayed. Um, let me use an Ether, Max Ether, Blue Resource, or Elixir. Uh, I'll use Elixir like that. Uh, was that for everything? Oh, it was. Oh, cool. Right. minutes later where is he oh god it's not a, like oh thank god it is just open phew the giant chasm this is a spot where Kieran's power resonates here Kieran can use all the full extent of its power and easily cover all of the Unova okay Kieran come oh Haram! I have a memory that has continued to haunt me just one the unpleasant look in your eyes reminds me of it that aside, this is a gift to show my respect for making it this far. I'll freeze you solid right here with my glorious ascent. Kurum, glaciate. Hurrah! Ooh, that is quite cool in some ways. But quite bad for the plot of the game because it means that it's extending the episode! Um. Did I just die? Zekron Fusion Bolt? What? So you came, the freak without a human heart. N. Dun dun dun. Dun 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 dun. Cool music. N. Zekron told me Kieran was suffering. I cannot allow selfish humans to make Pokemon suffer. And I like Unova. This is a place that taught me how to live as a human. Oh, I almost coughed there. Oh, it's a place that made me notice the harmony between Pokemon and humans living together. I'll protect the Pokemon and humans who are bizarre. That is excellent. This was a moving expression of your determination. The education I provided to make you king wasn't a complete waste then. But I haven't forgotten that even though I was kind enough to find you and you were living in the forest, Pokemon would take you in and care for you. In the end, you were selfish and disrupted my plans. I was supposed to use your ability to rule you over. But I'll forgive you for that as well. Zekrom, which you were kind enough to bring with you, can shatter the ice. Now you've saved me the work of searching for it. Well, actually, I knew you'd appear if we fired ice missiles into Opelucid. And you noticed a change. This is an ugly formula. It won't work. Oh, but it will. I think... I think... I may be out of time, guys. 
Uh, if I use these, DNA splices. Okay. Here we go. This is what everything's been working towards. Oh. So X and Y is supposed to have like a really big, big DNA sort of plot, sort of thing, sort of plot. What? Why was that such a long-winded animation? Oh, because we're getting a... Oh. Right, you can't see this because the bottom's green. Um, right, there's Kuriam, and he's looking. Alright, that's his head. Oh, there we go. And he's kind of been thrown back. And then Zekrom. I guess I'm going to get a picture of Zekrom in a second. Yeah, we are. Right, we're getting it on the bottom screen. So this stuff is happening on the... I'm trying to explain what's happening. Right, that's Kuriam's shoulders. And then... Uh, Zekrom went like that, and then kurium has gone, what, like, round, and then they're trying to... What? I wish I could show you both screens right now, because this animation is pretty cool. But I have no idea what's going on. Oh. <gasps> oh no, Zekrom! Uh, okay. So, Zekrom just became a dart stone again. Oh no! What Zekrom? Kurum, absorb Zekrom. Use Absol Fusion. Uh, so, right, bottom screen. Kurum's looking pretty angry. He's like, he's staring at the dart ball. And now he's using some more purple stuff. And he's lifting it up. Right, now it's on your screen. And he's kind of looking up at it. And now he's gonna go. Uh, he's still looking. Right, and now his tail's kind of passing and uh, oh god what's going on um he kind of just span around a little bit like a ballerina and now they are together and finally after playing this for nine months i get to see the pokemon that was on the cover there he is look at him he looks angry he looks like he's got a beard oh he's like sleepy Oh no, he's not sleepy. He's angry. Uh, and and he's kind of he's got a bad head day. Hair's flopping around. Oh, he's screaming. He's going rogue. And uh, what's he doing now? He's just standing there. N. What? Uh, I never believed that Pokemon could be fused together. There's a formula like this. You fool. Last time I was going to use you to capture people's hearts and minds to rule them, but this time I'm simply going to use Alpha Bomb and Power and Rule with an Iron Fist. Do you understand? If you had simply become king, you'd never remain beautiful. Come now, trainer. This time no one will save you. But to make things interesting, I'll give you a chance. Let's see if you can stop this QRM. What? What's this? Your Pokeballs are trembling. Could your Pokemon be shaken with rage? No, that's not possible. Simple tools don't have a motion of thought. Come, challenge QRM. Just so you know, catching it is impossible. My cane emits signals that disrupt the functions to all Pokeballs. So I'm supposed to face QRM. Due to the timing of... My mother's arrival. I wanted to get all the Team Plasma stuff done this episode. I'm not going to be able to. Uh, so I apologise greatly, guys. But I'm going to have the end of the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. Next episode, we will battle this QRM. We will take him down. And then, um, after that, I guess we'll be going on to Victory Road. So thank you very much for watching. It's me, Mario here. Signing off. Saying, my God, my voice hurts.